Well, a very good morning from Walton Street in Hull for, well, my very first pull down sort of vlog. I've not actually been here in the day either, so this is going to be quite eye opening for myself as well as maybe for you guys as well. Currently on Walton Street, the morning after the night before of the last day, checking out what is still here, what is going on, and how it looks in the day and at a pull down, and see what action's going on here. And just walking down Walton Street, I've just spotted the laser blazer to the side of us here, which I believe was on that plot of land here. And astoundingly, <laughs> if I'm right, it was on here. You would never think that, would you? That's crazy. And this is the eye-opening experience that we're going to see today as I walk through here. And there's obviously, there's the trucks. Now, of course, there's going to be quite a bit of action as we walk down here. As you can see this way, of the, the pull down. Now, there's quite a few rides actually still up. All the Ferris wheels are still up. Happy Wheels probably on its way there and even that one over there has just started pulling down there you can see it rotating slightly as they go to the other side to pull down and there is a lot of work going on here as well um so i'm looking forward to having a look around here uh, to see what action is going on now i set off from home in blackpool at about five in the morning to do this and i was like thinking oh you know what um, it's got to be worth it surely so i, I definitely did it now, of course, there's no Theo with me. It's too early for him to be able to do this, which is unfortunate because I think it's a really good experience to do this. Uh, but he's also got football anyway, so he wouldn't have been able to come anyway. So it's not a problem. Now, I believe everything's still here. That I did see a lot of candies leave, uh, catering units, um, as I was coming in here. And I did see Dante's Air leave as well. It was actually passing on the M62, where if you go over the um, bridge at Ghoul, I saw one of the trailers there and then another three a bit further down and those three were going very slow uh, so that is already left but I believe everything else is still here now of course there's a lot of action going on there's people picking litter up as you can see it's an absolute mess but I'm gonna take you for a little weird tour if I if I may call it that to show you what it looks like now obviously I know a lot of people are going to be watching this thinking oh my god look at this litter but seriously this will all be sorted by uh, the end of the night uh, and obviously this is like from the past however many days this was on for and obviously there's quite a few people walking around as well uh, but yeah interesting to see everything in its current state now walking around like this i can't actually remember where everything is i think this is where all the game stalls were um yeah, looking that way and we should see all the main rides in the center there we go people cleaning up already there uh, there is a football match on later today uh, at the stadium literally over there uh, so they've, they've got a lot to do on here they've got till about midday to go um, should they want to go now or there's a cut off period of roughly uh, I think it's about three o'clock when they can start action and again with it being a match day it's quite hard to get off this ground we got a frog set here. I believe this is the Yeti. It looks like the Yeti, it's white. I think that might be the Yeti on top. This is the ride that I really wanted to do and didn't get a chance to do in it, which is a shame really, because the Yeti's on my list to do and the opportunity was there to do it. But I didn't get a chance to do it. But that's there, let's see what we've got here. Curtis Eddie. With his, um, unit there so there's a lot of action going on here it's quite obviously dangerous on here as well uh, for walking around there's quite a few people on here though I'm not sure if I know anyone we've got William Clark's Waltzer which is the fair trade didn't get to ride that I have done it a few times Lots of photographers on here as well, as expected. Hellblazer, Affers there, folded away. You'll be surprised how many uh, trailers they come in. There's the ice maze. <laughs> Just to be conscious when I'm walking around, I don't get caught out by any cars. There's a lot of activity on here. And they've still got a, a unit open as well. 
tail is that? A bit more action down here. See spinning coaster. One of the questions I had in my mind, spinning coasters take probably one of the longest to pull up, pull down. And they must have been working quite a lot to get that down already. Dodgem's here. It's absolutely blinding that sun this morning. Going on the motorway with that blinding, yeah? Crazy. Horns. Taylors. I'm, gonna be, I'm, not be, I'm not gonna be able to get down here, but yeah, there's a uh, booster max still standing. They are uh, taking the uh, gondolas down. Crazy how they take these rides down, isn't it? My name's Freak Out, just over here. There's its trailer, obviously. We're heading back down south later today. There's Clark's Super Bowl. That was a crazy ride. Very crazy ride that was. I'm doing well remembering whose rides are whose as well. <laughs> this is pretty much it fully folded down as one. Can you believe that sort of ride goes into one? Look at that. There's probably a trailer to go on that, such as the cash box, I'd imagine. Lots of photographers have Ugh. Lots of photographers around, as expected. There's Extreme Joker. Wesley's, I believe. No limit. I'm just gonna go over to the spinning coaster. Yeah, it's, the coasters take so long to do. I'd imagine taking them down is easier than putting them together. Don't quote me on that. There's uh, Kent Super Bob, ready to go. Just needs his trailer. Oh, that is his trailer, just needs his lorry. I imagine that'll go in the back. You don't realise how many cars it has. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine cars. Obviously, some of them will be spares, but I never knew it had nine cars. And then that big sign that you see at the top of the ride, the spinning coaster. There it is in two parts. Obviously, the SP for the spinning, because then it extends into the word spinning and the big word coaster there. It's absolutely huge, isn't it? Heading back into the main area, we've got the tagger there, which I think is Jordan Cowie's. There's one ride we didn't get a chance to do this year. Theo did do it for 2021. It's a crazy tagger to that. Theo would love I'm trying to get photos as well, because obviously without Theo being here, it's something he doesn't get to see. Oh, we're placing the videos, but I am getting photos as I go around as well. I've just got one then. <laughs> Which I will share on Facebook as well. Which make sure you are following us on our Facebook page. That's PT Vlogs UK. And subscribe as well. I do love this artwork. I've seen that before. I saw it in Scotland actually. Yeah. <laughs> which is the Miami. Is it? Ah, oh, which Miami is that? Labam. Ah, oh, Limbo Dancer. Yeah. That was in Scotland, that. That came from Goose. That was in Goose and then came on the uh, Sunday for Monday. Some rides are actually quite hard to identify. Like that one. <laughs> I'm not too sure what that is. I'm sure someone will be like, yeah, I know what it is. There's the ghost train. I know where I am now. I remember where I stood. So some of the rides I think have gone already. It's a fun house. I'm pretty sure uh, Outer Limits has left already as well. I think Outer Limits was in this area. Yeah, because Air was over there, I think. Because No Limit was over there as well. I only remember because I take photos in that direction all the time. Fun house. 
another one of um, Kent's rides there. Uh, I, I didn't even get to see this. Uh, it's an avenue I didn't go down. Which is uh, superheroes. It's a very peculiar and unique ride, should we say. It's definitely for kids. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Theo loves it. But um, yeah, we didn't see it. That's one else there as well. Miami there. It's Robinson's, if I think I get that one right. No, it's Tubby's. Sorry, Tubby's. Yeah. It looks like Robin Robinson's and Tubby's. Uh, they do travel together. I think they're heading... Where are they heading next? I think they're heading down south shortly. But that's where... I think it's Disco Fever. I've just worked that out. Did see that earlier this year. Here's the other spinning coaster. This is Crash Test. They've not even... Doesn't look like they've even started pulling this down yet. I think this will still be here tomorrow. But it is the smaller, it is slightly smaller than the other one. I'm not too sure if it's easier to pull down, but yeah, not even started this one yet. We were going to ride this, but we didn't. Um, we, we did the other one instead in the end. There's a Matterhorn, there's Midnight Express. There's Jet Force, there we go. Again, all folded up. A lot of these were done last night, as soon as the fair closed, straight onto a pull down, ready for this morning, get a good night's sleep, finish off the little bits, and then get your lorry. I mean, there'll be a lot of lorries in this area, so obviously some of them are probably hard to get out and then waiting for the morning to come. The Shores Dodgems. I'd imagine dodgems take some time to pull down. Uh, they're fighters here as well. The, the um, Razumatav Walter was here uh, as well, which is obviously theirs. Um, unfortunately, I had a little issue with it, so it got swapped out for their fighter. So they kept their position, just a different ride. So it went from a waltzer to an extreme. Here's some action here of the wheel. Why do those gondolas look so small? <laughs> it's only half of it, isn't it? Oh, they folded like that. Ah. See, I'm learning stuff here today. In that position was um, Evans Twist. So that's been taken off site already. There's Atmosphere Crater. What, what, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm coming to see what you guys are up to. I'm okay. All right. I'm going And what's even more interesting, the fact that I said the twist has gone off site, it's actually here. <laughs> the twist is right next to it. So they pulled that down last night and rolled it here so they can uh, crack on with the wheel. There's Vertigo. Is it Vertigo Booster? Yes. Vertigo is there. The Fabry Booster. It's a shame I can get Theo on a booster this year. Maybe next year, eh? I'd imagine that's going to take some time to pull that down. Look at the, uh, especially with all the disco balls. I reckon last night they were pulling all the disco balls down last night and all the moving heads that they had on there. So in the background, we can see another frog. That is Don Sapo. I believe this is off to Manchester tonight uh, for the Trafford Centre, which will be there uh, from tomorrow. Although when you're watching this, it'll already be there uh, for uh, Spookfest. I believe it's this one anyway, uh, with the fun house that is also here, I believe.
I hope I get to see that again soon. Polar Express. Might hear a bit of wind, it's a bit breezy. Not much to do on that. Main job's done by looks. So the atmosphere is ready to go home already. They pulled that down super fast. I'll just have a waddle down here. There's just one area I didn't walk to. Um, there's more down there. I'll we'll show you where atmosphere in all its glory folded. It looks absolutely stunning like this. I, be I believe they did get transport award at Goose, if I get that right. Look at that. <laughs> that is a very long vehicle. There's like puddles everywhere. It's a great piece, that. Now, I didn't go down here because I didn't even know there was anything down here. <laughs> I must remember to come down here next year. But there's actually rides down here. I believe King Sizzle is around here somewhere. I didn't realise how far. I know this is still the following part of Walton Street. But there's rides down here. Now you would have noticed that in the vlog. Ghost train. Is that Whiting's ghost train? Maybe. Ah, this is where William Roberts was and he's tagged her. Yes, William Roberts tagged her was here and I didn't even know it. And then, is this it here? That's it, that's King Sizzler. This is Church's King Sizzler's. I knew they were here. I just couldn't find them. And little did I know this section existed because I come in from the other side. That's all folded, ready to go as well. Another fun house there as well. Of course, I don't know which fun house that was. Called, but I'm sure I've done it already. I'm sure it'll come, sure it'll come to me. That's Hills, Miami. Or Miami trip free. Mini Miami there, kids zone. That's Neil Ponce that. That's a fair that I need to get to. Uh, runaway train, I think, yes. I couldn't see because of the sun. <laughs> a lot of the rides give it away because they do have names on the vehicles, but not all of them do. I can see Exciter just over there. Frog set here. Ready to go again. It's a good frog set that. It's in my um it's in my top few frogs this one. Really good frogs. I'm sure it'll be off to Scar. I don't know if it's going back to Scar, but I think uh Bridlington Fair's on. I don't know if they're going there. That's King Frog, by the way. That's exciting.
in all honesty, I'd love to see this folded up. It's just, and it, it's not that old, but it's not exactly new. And it's so shiny. We keep it looking so fresh. Really good ride excited to it. It's one of its own. There is another one, which I might go and see later today because I've found out where it is. And then on the opposite side, if you've watched our whole vlog, you may have thought this was probably the best part of it. This is the Summit of Illusions, House of Illusions, I think it was called. It was the first time I've seen and done it. And um, if you've missed the vlog and you want to know why it was so funny, and here's a little clip. Oh, here we go, the music's on. Oh! <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yes, he's prone to doing that. It does say when you go in, put your hands out in front of you. And he did, but he got distracted. Bang, <laughs> straight into the window. It's not the first time he's done that. He's done it on a, um, on, a, on the ice maze. Ice maze is here and he's done it on that before as well. Of course, if you're watching this and you haven't seen our whole vlog, I've left the uh, the link in the description. It's also now appearing here. You can click on it now if you want, or go back to it later. It'll be in the description below anyway. This runaway train. This was in Blackpool. This little Thunder Railroad. Another fun house. Seen this one before. Not too sure who owns it, but it's got those traffic cones. There they are. <laughs> Reminds me, I don't think it's the same one, but there's one called Big Bamboo UK or something like that. And that congregates like the Midlands. Sorry, Yorkshire. North Yorkshire. I think. <laughs> and it was a, a crazy fun house. There's Curtis Eddie's fun house there. There's uh, Jonathan Walker's ghost train. I really hope he gets his TriStar here next year. So he has three rides. He's got that, the TriStar, and he's also got, uh, what else has he got? He's got uh, like a ski jump, but it's not a ski jump. It's called Coaster. This is Fun Fair Crazy which is also a fun house. I've seen it so many times, never had the chance to do it. There's that many fun houses here. I would be um, <laughs> paying quite a lot of money. We see these guys all the time, games to play. They, uh, they're from the Northwest, them guys. I think it says Cubbins on it. We see them at the grounds quite a lot. In fact, we saw them at Sandbatch. Derby there. Caterpillar coaster, there was a few caterpillars here this year. You get like, you can get so lost here when you walk around, you just don't know where you're going. At night, when you walk around like I do, you kind of don't know where you are, but you do know where you are. There's so many avenues and roads to walk down and so many hidden pockets that you can easily miss rides. I did that, to be honest with you. But if you come here over and over and over again, you, you kind of get used to it. Well, that seagull uh, nearly dropped its load on me then. <laughs> Nice traditional helter skelter. Underappreciated rides these. But yeah, very it takes a while to build these up because of the boards on them. We have got sea storm harnesses. All folded and ready to go. Not too sure where we'll be seeing that next. That did go to Trafford Centre for the summer. It's not going there for its uh Spookfest. 
as much as it would have been nice to see it there. And of course, I did say we would be going on this here, but we didn't get a chance to. There was quite a few rides as well when we went towards the end of the vlog. The fair went really quiet, really quick. So there was a frogs, Yeti, I think he was trying to go on the Yeti. And there was literally one person on it. Sea Storm had no people on it. And it's because it's towards the end of the night. But the problem is, atmospherically, it's not as good, especially on a video. Sometimes you have to be conscious of what rides you choose at when just to sort of show the best because if you show a ride with just two people on it as a frog, the experience and what you're seeing on the camera is nowhere near as good. It's a shame we didn't do it earlier, but we do see Sea Storm a lot, so no biggie, we'll see it again. I think there's literally one more avenue to walk down. I'm calling them avenues, I don't know what the real name is. Um, there's Gallagher's Twist. Quite a good twist this. I think we did, no, I don't know if we did that in 2019 here, but we have done it since. There's a rotor. I think, is that a rotor, sticky wall? Looks like one. Paul City Council have got quite a lot of people working on here to clean up. Yeah, there's Curtis, Eddie. Yeah, there we go. Here's the rotor. I think there was two rotors here this year. I've only experienced it once. Massive funhouse, that. Another waltzer there. I think that's pretty much the whole walk around. Look how small these trailers are for, for a juvenile ride. Obviously that's not the complete set of it, but it's the main rounding boards and everything. And these as well, they're just so, that is just literally a fold out. And they cost nothing to run either, apart from costing to run of the uh, person looking after it. We've got the superstar. I've not walked down this bit, have I? Just got to be conscious where I walk because there's a lot of uh, stuff going on. That's uh, Harris slash Pat Collins superstar. Which I think we did. Yes, we did. We did do that. Super Bowl already, I don't think I've walked down here yet. Yes I have, there's Limbo Dancer, so I have walked down here. And then we've just, uh, there's the, uh, there's the dodgems. You wouldn't think that was a dodgem set, would you? Yeah, it was amazing to walk around in a site like this. So definitely worth my while to come here. All right, I'm gonna get some uh, action shots and some photos for Facebook.
Well, we've seen a lot of rides leave Walton Street Fair in Hull already. A lot of them, though, won't be leaving today. Uh, some will be leaving later today. Some will be going tomorrow, which will then be a Monday. Uh, with the football that's on very shortly, there is a curfew where the movement has to be suspended. Uh, so not everything we will be able to get out, but we've seen quite a lot of movement at the moment. Quite a lot of rides and units have now left. So the actual ground itself is looking a lot more sparse than it was a couple of hours ago. Well, Walton Street itself, this is Walton Street I'm stood on, you'll see when I pan around in a moment. How much of a nightmare it is on here because there's still units parked up on here you can play to see there's loads of uh, lorries now leaving uh, they're having to get round some other vehicles as well and then just to the left you can see a few um trailers coming out of there that's the that's like the village that's where all the showmen have been staying overnight with their trailers Obviously they can't commute here every day. I think some of them can, but most of them uh, obviously have their own accommodation. Some of them are absolutely huge. A lot of movement happening right now. This is um, Harris's superstar. We did this. As it joins the queue of vehicles leaving. See it's getting a little bit crazy now. Of course, hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been my first pull down slash pull off video, whichever you want to call it, of all of any actually. Um, so hopefully I've given it a little bit of justice for you. And I hope you've enjoyed this. By all means, leave me some feedback. What would you like to see different next time I do one? Not saying that there'll be a lot of them, but uh, what would you like to see more of? Would you like to see a particular pull down of a ride? Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Make sure you do hit the like button as well. And uh, subscribe as well for free to see more of the fair in action as well. Like I say, in the description below is the link to Hull Fair from opening night of 2022. And there's also a, a couple of other ones. We've got 2021 and 2019 as well. Street now is getting a little bit congested down there. And right at the other side, we can see, I think, King Sizzle are leaving. Right at the other side there. Yeah, that's, I think, yeah, that's King Sizzle just down there. Gary Gore. <laughs> you right? <laughs> With their racing armor. They'll be uh, doing a couple of bonfires, I think, in the northwest area. But yeah, there's a bit of action. You can they can go out either way, either this side or the other side as well. See a bit of action here as well. And I've been here for, I'm not too sure how long, what time is it now? It's quarter to 12. So I've been here for about four hours. Uh, watching the uh, action take place this morning. But 
looks like sea storm might be jetting off soon as well no pun intended there so a few rides leaving the other side as well and literally all morning the uh, road sweepers have been up and down this road all over the place inside there you know, obviously you would have seen at the start of the video how much litter there was They'll, the, a lot of that will have gone by now Curtis Eddy next to come out with his giant jungle fun house missing its uh, slide that'll be on a separate trailer but that is all one and if you've seen this uh, fully built up that is three I think four story tall trailer <laughs> I've never seen that before so William Roberts tagged it up not too sure if it's picking it up but atmosphere the loop fighter is on its way down here as well right in the far distance these trailers are absolutely massive <laughs> it was in Wigan, it was at DW Stadium earlier this year. This is off to Manchester, this is off to Trafford Centre. For Spookfest, which is their Halloween version of their seasonal events. I'm sure Don Sapo will be uh, joining later as that should be there later today.
just rides that are here. There's loads of trailers. game stores as well there's one Dominion seen that a few times recently just parts of the side is a juvenile that's like a mini formula literally folded half <laughs> there's david wallace with uh with his ice maze That's got an almighty load on this. Wow. I'll tell you what, they've got the work cut out to, um, to drive these vehicles. Just also see on its way out Gallagher's twist. skillful are getting bigger. Jeez. for a different approach, I think.
really close. Some skill in that though. Look at the size of it, it's absolutely massive. Extreme to another. This is a long, long one.
and still left remaining are quite a lot of rides. I would probably say 40% of the rides have now left. Uh, some of them are still yet to be pulled down. I've noticed Crash Test is still standing. I think the wheels uh, had very little movement over there, but a lot of the guys are, are holding off until a little bit later. Of course, there is a what they call a curfew uh, due very, very shortly. Uh, where you're not able to leave the area due to the football uh, just because of the traffic in the area so to do this as a full day would take all day and some of the rides will still be here tomorrow so won't be able to see everything go by but it's nice to see the ground how it looks now <laughs> totally different totally different atmosphere obviously uh, but totally different look to uh, how, how it was literally nights ago or even last night so it was nice to walk around the ground and see it and also seeing the few pull down elements as well as pull off so i hope you enjoyed this video like i said earlier do uh, let me know in the comments below of what you thought um was good about this video and any little bit of feedback because it's nice to learn from stuff like that because it's not sort of my well i wouldn't say it's my thing but i've not done one before so totally different to see uh, how that was as well so i hope you did enjoy this and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed subscribe you can subscribe to this channel for free by hitting the subscribe button because we go to a lot of these fairgrounds especially hull uh, in itself but also in the yorkshire area the east coast lancashire northwest uh, a lot of places in the uk so make sure you are subscribed to this channel follow us on our social media platforms facebook instagram twitter and tiktok for more of that stuff as well and of course i'll be sharing more photos on facebook of this um, pull down pull off as well hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye